Okay, so the first thing we do is to factor these denominators, right? For x squared minus 16, we know this is a square. This is also completely a square. So this was x, this was 4, right? And then the difference of 2, complete a square, we can write it down. x minus 4 multiplies to x plus 4. Okay? Then for x squared minus 5x plus 4, we want to use factoring method. This will be the multiplication of two numbers. This will be addition of those two numbers, m and n, right? So this was one multiplies to four, <coughs> negative, negative, it's plus five x plus four. Plus five x? So we have We have plus four, plus one, right? choosing 1 and 4, right? So we will have x plus 4 multiplied x plus 1, okay? And then between these two denominator, we are choosing, we are actually finding LCD, okay? So LCD will be the common factors on common factors with the highest power. Right? So between this, x plus 4 is common, right? x minus 4 is uncommon, x plus 1 is uh, uncommon, okay? And now all of them have the same power, 1, right? So we don't have to choose the highest power. So we write down the LCD, which is x plus 4, x minus 4, x plus 1. Correct? Compare the LCD with each of these denominators. Correct? To see what they are missing. Compare LCD with x minus 4 multiply x plus 4 because we know this one is x minus 4 <coughs> multiply x plus 4, okay? So what this is missing? This one is missing x plus 1, okay? Is that correct? So we are multiplying this to x plus 1 because the denominator is missing x plus 1 from LCD, okay? Then we compare this one with this denominator, and we already know this is x plus 4 multiply x plus 1, okay? What is missing? Minus 4. So we multiply these to x minus 4, okay? So we have x multiply x plus 1 minus 5 multiply x minus 4 equal to. The LCD right that top part is x square plus x minus 5x plus 20 okay And then we combine these two. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 
So now we are going to talk about chapter 7. In this chapter we are going to talk about ra rational and exponent and <coughs> simplifying them. and working on rational expression. If we have two numbers which have the power in front of them and we call, actually we call this base. This one is power, right? We talked about this in chapter one. So if the base is the same, keep the base because this is a multiplication, you are going to add m and n. So if you have 2 power 5 multiplies to 2 power 3, the answer is 2 power 3. Power eight. Then if we have two power divide by each other, you subtract them. If the base is the same, <coughs> we subtract the power in this order. The top power minus the bottom. So if we have 2 power 5 divided by 2 power negative 3, Do you have any question? So, 
1 over 2 power <coughs> negative 1 is equal to 2 power 1. Exactly. Which is 2, right? So the power had a negative sign. 1 over, over x power negative n became x power positive n. Correct? What else? Okay, so now we are talking about reciprocal. Let's look at this. X power negative n. Let's say both of the powers are negative. 1 power, let's say this one is n. This one is n. So with this technique, reciprocal technique, we can put, uh, make both powers a positive number, right? So we will write down reciprocal of this, which is y power n divided by x power m, okay? And the exponents becomes positive. <coughs> No, I just was talking about the relation, you know. So there isn't any need to change, for example, this one to this one, right? It's not useful to do that, okay? But if it was 2 power negative 5, yeah, it was useful to use this technique, okay? So by showing that, I just want, wanted to show you all the way of this works. Yeah. If we have x power n, power n, this becomes x power n multiplies to and so if you have two power, three power, um, let's say, what? Two. Negative two. Two power negative? Six. Exactly. Correct? Because you can't have the negative. Not just that, I just wanted to use the rule to continue that. So if it came out a positive exponent, would you just leave it like 2 to the 6? <laughs> yes. So if you have x multiplied, So far, I was talking about the same exp same base, okay? Now, let's say powers are the same, and we are multiplying these two. Like two power three multiplies to three power three, okay? So like this one, the powers are the same, but base are different. Like uh, I'm talking about multiplication. Just be careful. The sign between them were multiplication, division. So just be careful. I'm not talking about add or subtract. Okay? So we write down x multiply y because their power is the same. We use parentheses. <coughs> just say they both have power n. So this power n belongs to x 
is power n belongs to y. So both way is correct. Like if you have something like this, as example, you can say two multiply three power three, correct? Which is six power three, right? No, no, because we add them whenever the base is the same, right? But now we don't because the base is different. So now when I say both way works, I can say if you had six power three, you could write it down in this way because we know six is two multiply three, right? We could write down this is two multiply three power three, correct? And then we could say, okay, two has this power, three also has this power. Like three belongs to this one, three belongs to this one. <coughs> so we could go both way. This one is going from this way to this way. This question goes from this way to the left side. Okay? So we have the same thing for division. If the base are not the same, we have x over y. And as we see, the powers are the same, correct? But base are different. So we write down x divided by y power n. We have two power two, three power two. Base are different, but powers are the same, correct? So you will write now. Actually, you know what? Let's write down 12. Correct? Then you will see how these kind of things work. So we will write down 12 divided by 3 power 2. Correct? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what is 12 divided by 3? 4. 4 to power the second. Correct? So which one was easier to solve? This one or this one? So if you have this one, you easily know 4 power, four, uh, four power 2 is 16. Correct? So you simplify this kind of expression to reach the easiest one, okay? So you use all the relation to reach this point, to simplify this expression as much, as much as possible. So instead of solving such a thing, you easily solve this easy thing, right? And then that would be your answer? Yes. For part two is your answer 16. So let's um so our our example was from this side to, uh, to the other side, right? So I want to give you an example from right side to the left side. So it will be 2 power 3 divided by 5 power 3, okay? Because we know the power belongs to each other. And then 2 power 3 is what? 
a, right? Five power three is five multiply five multiply five, which is one twenty five, right? Twenty five multiply five is. Hundred twenty. Got it. So, <clears throat> what is two power zero? One. One. <laughs> what is two power one? Zero. Two. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> what is two power negative one? Zero. Come on. <laughs> One over two. One over two. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> because it's the this reciprocal. one we just learned it. It's the reciprocal. We said we use the reciprocal, and then power becomes plus. <coughs> so remember this: two power zero is one. Do you remember one time I showed you this? For example, if we have two power three, two power two, two power one, two power zero, two power negative one. <laughs> and then I said two power three is eight. eight. Two power two is four. four. So what you did, eight divided by two, two correct? Mm -hmm. And then the next one, even without calculation, you know that it's four divided by two. Right, which is two. Do you remember this? Yes. Almost, you know, the first two sections I was talking about this. And then two power zero, I said? One. Two divided by two is one. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then the next step will be one over? Two. Two, because you are dividing one by two. Two. If the base was three, we, we would divide Every step, everything by three, okay? If we have three power something, three power something, we would divide every step by three. <coughs> Do you have any question? Okay, so now we are ready to solve these questions on the board. Wait, I have a question. Yes. So for the example, 12 divided, 12, 12 squared divided by three squared, um, Twelve a square divided by three, three squared. Square. So why would you why would you multiply the two? I didn't multiply. But well, you put twelve over three. Or di well, you divided twelve and three, and then you got four squared. So I said uh, because of a rule, we can say divide them, and two will be out of parentheses, right? This is the rule. And then we said, okay, we already know 12 by, divided by 3 is 4, okay? So 4 power 2, which is 16. Okay? So now let's solve this. We have 5xy power 3 divided by 2x negative 4y power negative two. Well, I'm going to uh, use my way of solving to see where we reach, okay? So that solved uh, starting with different methods. Okay, so now, power is negative, right? I said if you have x divided by y, power is, for example, negative this, you can use reciprocal of this fraction, and then power becomes positive, positive correct? Yes. So let's use this. <coughs> so what happens? This one goes to the numerator, Correct? Am I right? Yes. Okay? Yes. 
This is negative four, this is, oh no, we are not changing now. We just changed the, this power to a positive one, okay? I will keep this parenthesis and this one becomes positive, okay? Still, I'm not affecting these to each of denominator and denominator. Just the outside okay? one becomes outside. And then this goes to numerator, this comes to the denominator. Okay? Right? Yes. So since this first one gave me positive? Yes, now it's positive. This one is positive. Okay? The outside power is positive. Is that correct? Yes. Equal to this. I'm using my own method, so this is different. I'm like a starting with different kind of, you know, rules. <coughs> So we know all the rules now, okay? We can start with any um, of those. So now we are going to affecting this on each of these denominator and numerator, okay? Like if we had x divided by y power n, we could say x power n, y power n, numerator power n, denominator power n, okay? The whole denominator power two, the whole denominator power two, right? So, two x negative four y power two divided by five x y power negative three power two. Because that two belongs to both numerator and denominator. Okay. Now, what happens if we have x, y, power n? We said this n belongs to this x, n belongs to y. Okay. You yes. add the. So if you have x, y, z, the same thing happens. <coughs> Right? That power belongs to everything inside this parameter. Okay? Yes. So now, this power belongs to this, belongs to this one, belongs to this one. Okay? Belongs to this one, this one, this one. Right? So let's write that. We have two power two. X negative four power two. Y power two, correct? Divide by five power two, X power two, Y negative three power two, correct? Two is four. Five power two is twenty-five. Four divided by twenty-five. The next term is x power negative four power two. Negative eight. Negative eight. Y because we multiply these two powers, right? Because I said x power n power m is x power n multiply m. Negative eight. Negative eight. Oh, but it's um, one over. No, 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 Okay. So now let's separate them because we can do that. They are all multiplication, correct? So I can put this together 
then multiplies it to these, then multiplies it to this. Correct? Because it's a multiplication. We can separate them. So now, we cannot simplify this anymore. Correct? But this one, base are exact same. Powers are different. The so you first can thing, them. yes, was using the root x power m, x power n, x power m minus n. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so base are the same. We keep the base and then subtract the power. Be careful. That would be negative six. See, negative be careful. I like said. Negative 8 minus 2. Oh. 2 minus negative 6. Correct? Is this correct? Yes. Yes. So, 4 over 25 x power negative 10 y power 8. This one, okay? Yeah. Same as that. But still, we could uh, have like, we could use a reciprocal of this and write down x power 10, okay? If you do that, that would be correct. 1 over x, y power 8. Am I right? Correct? Mm -hmm. That but would if, be correct. But if you move it x, the negative 10 would still be negative. Yes. Yeah. So this is correct. This is correct. And then the other form is correct. What is this form? I'm going to put all of them <coughs> together. Correct? Because this is a multiplication. Right? Because this is a multiplication, we can put, put all of them together. This one goes to numerator, this one is denominator, correct? Here also, I could put all of them together. 4, x power negative 10, y power 8, divided by 25. All of them are correct, all of them. Good? So now we want to simplify x two over three power four. Listen, listen. Here, x power a number, power another number. What do we do? 
multiply so, these two oh, powers, okay? Yes. This is x, we are multiplying this to 4. Power eight, 8 over 3. Over 3. Okay. You multiply 4 and 2. And then yes. you leave the denominator the same. You don't need it. You can't multiply 4 and 2. Mm -hmm. Because the denominator of 4 is 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are doing this. 2 over 3 multiplies to 4 over 1. Okay? Yes. And then you have 8 over 3. Okay? Yeah. So this one. Base are the same. Subtract the powers. Maybe x2 over 3. 4 over? 2 over. Oh, okay, 4 over 6 after simplifying will be 2 over 3, exactly. 5 over 6 minus 1 over 6 is 4 over 6. six. six. And then you simplify to um, what's it called? 2, two over three. 3. 2 over 3. Okay? Then now we have multiplication. So if our base is the same and we are multiplying this, we can add the power, okay? So we have the same base. We say 2 over 3 plus negative 1 over 3. Okay? x power 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3. x power 1 over 3. What if the denominators were the same? Denominator, which denominator? No, like I'm just saying in general. Like this? So you calculate that. Add or subtract a fraction. So if it was like 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6, what would you do? Yeah. What is the answer? Is that? Yeah. No, I mean, you're supposed to get the common denominator. Yeah. So what is the common denominator? Six. Six. LCD is? Six. Six. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because this one is three, this one is two multiply three. LCD is common and uncommon. Okay? Yeah. And power is one for each of them. So the highest power will be one. So LCD is? Six. <coughs> so we write down LC. Compare six with the first denominator. What is missing? Nothing. Three. I don't know. Compare six with three. three. Two is missing. Correct? Is that correct? Two is missing. So multiply this by two. Multiply this one by two. Correct? Compare this one with LC. What is missing? Nothing. Nothing. And then we write down the same thing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Six, four minus one is? Three. Three. Simplify this. Mm -hmm. One over? Yeah, two. Two. Okay? Yeah. So that is using LC for this kind of situation. Okay? Do you have any question?
Sometimes when I don't have time, I don't waste my time on LC. So what I do, I will write down 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6. <coughs> So the way I solve this kind of problem, whenever I don't have time wasting on LCD, I multiply this denominator together. Six multiply three. Then I will multiply six to two. I have 12. Then I will multiply three to one. I have three. So you just cross multiply? Yes. Then 12 minus three is nine over 18, which is one over two. So for me, I always use this. That's better. Like that was much easier for me to spend time on LCD. There's some like, the last step is just more simplifying, which I prefer to spending time on LCD because sometimes maybe you miss something at this point okay so what I did I had a over B <coughs> minus uh, C over let's say K okay so B multiply K a multiply <coughs> K minus C multiply B. If the sign between them was positive, we would have positive sign here. Okay? <coughs> so let's write that positive or negative. Okay? It says 2x power half, 2x power 1 over 2, multiplies to 3x power 1 over 3. This is a multiplication. Everything between them is multiplication. So I will do this. 2 multiply 3, multiply x power 1 over 2 multiply x power 3, right? Is this correct? Yes. Because it's a multiplication, okay? Right? And then you are multiplying this, we will get 6, okay? Yes. And then the base here is the same, and you are multiplication. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2, Multiply three is six. six. Three multiply one is plus two multiply one is two. two. Six x power five over six. Okay. So first of all, let's separate them. 18 over negative 6, multiply. x, 1 over 4, x, negative.
negative 1 over 2. Y, negative 1 over 3. Y, 1 over 6. Okay? Then 18 over negative 6, negative 3. And then for this one, these are the same. For this one, these are the same. Okay? So, so. We yeah, have negative 2 x power 5 over 6 multiplied to 3 x power 1 over 2 minus 4 x power negative 1 over 3. Why you put negative 1 Because it's negative 1 over 2. So now, we have this term multiplied to the parenthesis. We should multiply this to each term inside the parenthesis, okay? So, negative 2 x power 5 over 6 multiplies to 3 x power 1 over 2. <coughs> negative multiply negative becomes positive. 2 x 5 over 6, 4 x negative 1 over 3.
correct? Am I right? <coughs> yes. So put this constant together, this together, here also the same thing. Then multiply these two constant, we'll get negative six. Multiplying these two, we'll get eight, correct? Then base are the same, adding the power. Base are the same, adding the power, correct? So we will have negative six x power four over three plus eight x power one over two. Listen. Do you have any question? Any question? So, we have 25 power, 3 over 2. <coughs> 27 power, 2 over 3. So here we can write down, this was five power two, correct? And then if you multiply these, you will get rid of that uh, denominator, correct? So you will have five power two multiplied three over two, which is five power three. Three power three, right? Yeah. Three power three. Three power three. Three power two. Correct? Okay. <coughs> okay, we should learn this before we are done. Do you have any question? Wait, how'd you get three power two? Okay, so solve the uh, denominator and denominator three. Three times three is nine. So three multiplied two over three is three over one multiplied two over three, okay? And then this one cancels with this one, two remain. Okay? So now we have two power two multiplied to x power negative 1 over 2 plus x 1 over 2. So it said, so far we were talking about multiplication and division, right? So here we have addition, okay? Yeah. So in this way, we should use some, our prior knowledge to be able to simplify each of them to be 
able to add them or subtract them. So instead of x power 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, we can write down 1 over x power 1 over 2. Am I right? Yes. Because this was x power 1 negative 1 over 2. Correct? Correct? Because x power something negative reciprocal of this and that power becomes positive. Correct? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So I was just explaining this part. So now instead of x power negative 1 over 2, we can write down 1 over x power 1 over 2. Okay? <coughs> And then obviously this two can go to numerator. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. Plus we have x power one over two. Okay. Okay. So now you have something without any denominator. You're adding this to, correct? So what we do, LCD, or my way of solving, multiply this to, multiply this to, multiply this. But if you want to use LCD, you will get lowest common denominator between these two, which is x power one over two, correct? And this is LCD, LCD. Then you will compare this LCD <coughs> with the first denominator. Is there anything missing? It's exact same as the first denominator, okay? Yes. So keep two without multiplying to anything. But if you compare this LCD with the second denominator, what it is missing? X power, one over two. So you have to multiply these two, x power one over two. So you will have x one over two multiplying to the thing LCD was missing, okay? <coughs> x power one over two, multiply x power one over two. The base is the same, right? Yeah. You will add the power. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 1. Half plus half is 1. Okay? So it becomes x power 1. You can easily ignore this. Okay? Yes. Okay, work on this on your own. Next time we'll continue from here. Do you have any questions? Okay, so one thing, today is Wednesday, correct? Yes. I will see you on Monday. The Wednesday after this, we will not have class. We will have class on Monday, but after that on Wednesday, we will not have any class. So next Wednesday, we will Yes. 10? It will be 10. It will be at 10. Yeah, because I have seminar on 9 and 10, and that would be Wednesday, 10. So for our science, yeah.